I'm John Hinkle, the senior pastor of First Presbyterian Church, and this is your daily devotion. Like many of you, I have been struggling and find my heart heavy, first starting with the unnecessary uh, death of George Floyd, and then the heartache and violence that has kind of come out of all of this. I wish I had answers for you. I wish I could tell you some some way that we could make it all better. I do know that out of, out of all of this, uh, I have found myself with this renewed commitment to continue our relationship at First Presbyterian Church with our sister ch church just down the Spring Street, the Antioch Primitive Baptist Church, and our relationship with uh, Bobby Russell and the rest of his congregation. But on a personal level, uh, the text that uh, just kind of has hit me and continues to, to be with me is Jesus' Sermon on the Mount, especially that first when Jesus said, blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. And all day yesterday, I, I, I guess I kept asking myself, how am I a peacemaker? How am I part of the solution and not part of the problem? And, and like many of you, I guess, I, you know, I, I, I was kind of on social media to kind of figure out what was going on in our community. Little did I know, just two blocks away from my house, we would have really the only incident uh, that came out of, out of the vigil that was on the square. But what I, what I have come to realize, especially about social media, is how often Facebook and Twitter and Instagram, while I think in and of itself is not evil, can certainly perpetuate evil and especially shine light on our own brokenness. And so recently, and I'm not saying I've been really good at it, but recently I've been trying to do my best, especially, I'm only on Facebook and Twitter to be honest with you. I don't even know what Snapchat is, but, but before I post anything, anything, I ask myself, am I a peacemaker? Am, am, is what I'm posting actually going to bring peace to my friends, to my community, to my church? Or, or is in what I'm posting, is it simply just fuel for the fire? Am I just kind of stoking it a little bit? poking that hornet's nest just a little bit more, trying to prove I'm right and someone else is wrong. In doing so, I, I gotta be honest with you. I have probably deleted half of posts that I have written and I was gonna send only to read it again and say, no, no. This does not bring peace. This does not bring peace. We've been called to be peacemakers. Let me say that again. We have been called to be peacemakers. You have been called to be a peacemaker. So do not make the mistake that so many people make that I have made so many times. And post something on Facebook or Twitter or Instagram or Snapchat or whatever platform you are using. And just pour a little more fuel on the fire. Don't do that. Be a peacemaker. If you need to post anything on Facebook, let it be a cat video. If you need to tweet anything, tweet what you had to eat today. Whatever you do, whatever you post on Facebook, whatever you post on Twitter, remember you are a child of God. And do your posts actually reflect such love for God and for neighbor? May God have mercy on all of us. 
May God forgive us all for the sins that we have committed. I hope you have a good day.